Hey, buddy. We're gonna draw a submarine now, ready? Here's my paper, oriented landscape, because my submarine's gonna be going across. I've got my thick pen here. Um, so when I draw a submarine, I kind of draw like a cigar shape or almond shape or kind of bullet shape. I don't know, you have to play around with this to find the shape that's right for you. But submarines are basically like fish, right? They have the fish shape. So this thing kind of looks like it has kind of a fish shape to it. On the back, I think they always put fins of some sort, right? So you can control where your submarine's going. So it's kind of like a, a fish and a rocket at the same time. Um, on the end, they have like some kind of propeller, right? Some kind of propeller that goes spins around and around and drives this thing forward. So there's my, my uh, propeller pushing it forward. On top, there's all kinds of cool instruments and stuff that have to happen here, right? And then coming out of the top is one of the most important things about a submarine, the periscope. So there you go. There's my periscope looking out above the water. I'm gonna take a sec now and flip over and get my thin pen here. And if you just kind of carefully draw a rounded line um, on the body of your submarine, you don't want it to be too thick. You don't want it to be kind of taking over your whole submarine. But submarines are built, right? They're made of metal. And that metal has to be carefully put together in order to keep the submarine functioning properly. So to indicate that, I like to put these kind of pop rivets, this pattern that shows that, um, you know, this thing is made out of parts. So this is kind of a useful um, pattern to put in here. And I think it works better if you have like a really thin pen I don't want this to be really thick. So, speaking of thin, I'll take my ballpoint pen and just finish up those lines a little bit. And now, submarines kind of, there's a, light underwater is really weird, right? Like the shadows underneath are really dark. And then there's this weird thing that happens on top with, um, the way the light filters through the water. So, I mean, it's it's really magical, but I think for right now, the purposes of this, I'll just say, okay, the bottom side should be darker than the top side. And maybe to create the sensation that this is rounded a little bit, I'll put some, some stuff here, maybe a little bit on top, maybe a little bit on the side. There you go, that's basically my submarine. Yeah, submarines look good when you put them in water, so. I'm gonna put a little ocean waves here, just kind of up and down, kind of sloshing. That's nice. And then down here at the bottom, just kind of the ocean floor, straight across. If you want, you can put in some vegetation. I always like to draw undersea uh, plants like this, almost like wavy fire or something. I don't know, they're just fun to do, fun to draw. Just back and forth. Ooh. Maybe a couple rocks. If you want, you put a little crab or something down there. I don't know. All right, here I'm gonna put in some sandy texture. I'm just kind of touching the water or touching the sand with my pen here, making my underwater world. <clears throat> to give this sensation that this thing is kind of floating in water, what I'm gonna do is kind of put a shadow down here underneath of it. It's okay if it's really dark. Like I said, shadows underwater are very dark. Light is just, light is just weird underwater. And you can't go wrong with bubbles. You can't do too many bubbles. Okay, so there you go. It's always fun to, you know, add some sea life here, looking at this thing being like, hmm? Confused fish doesn't know what's going on there. All right, that's a pretty good submarine. So uh, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.